Wayne's World Party Time. Excellent. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at Trader Baker's Flea Market in Washington, Indiana. I think that's where I'm at. Washington anyway. And I'm on my way to see Jeffrey um, for his pop-up from Real Nifty Vintage. But this little Trader Baker's was on my way and so I've been here before. It was pretty good. So we're going to go in and see what we can find today. So let's go. I see some brooches back there. Trafari for $15. It's really pretty. I think it's a blue snowflake back there. There's a little basset hound dog. And oh, here's some little Yorkies. Porcelain Yorkies for they're made in Japan. Um oh they're $27. Okay. That's a little much for the Yorkies for meat for resale. Oh, here's Tommy Cash. Uh, the Johnny Cash's cousin. Oh, there's a little milk glass vase. It's kind of cute. 13 stainless spoons in this glass for $5. It's behind this chair. Ooh, cupcakes. All right, we've got some stoneware mugs down here too. Um, a green mug for eight dollars. I like the green out of all of them. I like the green for oh, there's a foot for a. Uh, and this is eight dollars for the green pottery mug. Kind of like I like pottery though, but I also saw. Well, you're new. We're gonna put you back. What's this? Thick fluted glass. It's hand blown. A little candlestick holder. There's a orange vase for $9.99. Oh, we got bucks. Yay. Bucks, bucks, bucks. I love books. Ooh, Carnival and Iridescent Glass. Price Guide. Book one. No pictures. That's what I need. Are pictures. I need pictures. Bart Sterling's Road to Success. The Boys Pocket Library. Last of the Mohicans. American Singer, book three. This is $5. Oh, parade graphics. Our Orchestra, Frost Pictures. If the pictures were colorful, I probably, I might. I don't think I'm gonna get, I know if you're doing junk journaling and stuff, you probably would like to use that, but. I'm not necessarily oh, Tinkle the Trick Pony and it's original dust jacket. I'm not necessarily looking for books to buy for people to tear apart. This is 1923. Let's make sure that this is the correct. Yeah, Tinkle the Trick Pony. Oh, I, okay. I like that it is. It's, I need a knot though. I need to only buy special books because I have so many. Okay, here is another Rupert book. I found an older one. This one's from the 1970s, but it's an English book about Rupert. He makes a plea. He gets ready to escape. The one I had was an older one, and it had a bunch of, like, pixies and fairies and brownies in it. Uh, this one is, I think I saw the price in here. On the back, it's four dollars and fifty cents. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I would if it was the older one. This is for you, Randy girl. The Bee Gees, Randy girl. The Bee Gees. We like the Bee Gees. Okay. Well, I didn't see anything else in that booth. But here we go. 
on the next one. What do we got? Ooh, this is a pre oh, I left my cart. I left my cart. I was gonna say, here is a pretty little Jack in the Pulpit style. That's $22. You break it, you buy it, it says on there. $22 firm. That's beautiful though. A little Jack in the Pulpit. Be very careful because if I break it, I buy it in this booth. Are they from Love Story? <gasps> They're from Love Story. Love means not ever having to say you're sorry. That's right. It's a Royal Copley duck there. Please do not touch. Well, you will not touch. But if I can't touch, then I can't buy it. So there's that. There's some clothes and stuff over there, which I don't care at all about. You're kind of a cute little owl on this small wooden owl for $5. And you are, I think, a baking soda guy. You put him in your refrigerator, you put baking soda. He's got little holes up there. There's a little seagull, too. I've always called them sea guns. Don't ask me why. It's just something else that I called by the wrong name my whole life. Dear house, you are really very small, just big enough for love. That's all. Oh, that's cute. A sampler, it's $15, which is not a bad price at all. This place has a lot of, like, primitive style stuff too, which is not my style, but then there's also dragons. Now there's dragons and skulls and those kinds of things, but there's also primitive. There's just something for everybody here. There is something for everything. Something for everybody to see. You're cute. Look at you, you little prixie driving a Cadillac. You're new, obviously, but I don't know if you're a prixie or if you're just a person wearing a tree on their head. Hmm, <laughs> you're fun. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Thirteen ninety nine. Look at your little pointy ears and your little nose. Oh, babies, you are three vintage dolls for fifteen dollars. So we've get you. And you, look at your little haircut, girl. And you, you got, I think you're, gosh, I should know you what your name is. You guys will tell me, who is she? But I also, she looks like a little nurse doll. It's the box. Patient admi admission kit. What else do we have? Oh, here's some Fire King mugs. You get all... These are all spray painted. To, I mean, they're not, they're milk glass. They're not in the greatest shape. You get all of them for $6, which is a great price, but they're not in the best shape. All right, here's a book for $4. It is The Night Before Christmas. I kind of looked through it a little bit. Some of the, it's not in pristine condition, but I liked the illustrations on the inside. It's nice and bright and the font is good. It's got really cute pictures with really nice big words to read. So I'm going to get that. There's all kinds of Halloween costumes over here too. Could be Wednesday from the Addams Family. You could wear that blue sequin dress. You could be a doctor. What else can we be? Star Wars guy. A minion. Ooh, I have a nasty scar on your face. Wayne's World. <gasps> Part time excellent. Really? Oh my gosh. Party excellent. I'm gonna have to look at this. World. Wayne's World. Part time excellent. Um, it just doesn't look that great. I don't think I'm gonna be getting this today, unfortunately. I guess it just doesn't look natural. I'm like a combination between Wayne and Garth. The blonde and the brown. Anyway. 
I like this little pencil crock. I, oh, I just like this. I kind of need something too. So I'm going to get this just because I like it. I'm probably going to keep it. Oh, here's a, oh, it's $17 for the silverware. Um, little tray. Joe's can do pretty good too. As with most vendor malls, I mean, there's just, there's a mixture of things. And you just kind of look at, you got to look through it all to find the things that you might be looking for. These shoes are kind of, kind of cute. Souvenir of Detroit, Michigan. Pink one there. $7.99. A little stagecoach planter. It's kind of different, isn't it? It's a dollar. That's just different, right? I don't know if anybody would really want a stagecoach planter, though. I don't want to hold on to it forever if somebody doesn't want it. Hmm. Ooh, there's a gold tree next to this Fenton thumbprint vase. Oh, you don't have a price on you. Uh, this could be a Liberace tree. There's no price on it either. Well, rats. Rats. What is this guy? Bad to the bone. Junkyard dog. That's the name of, the, I guess, the booth. Antique playing toy. Well, I don't think that it's an antique and he's missing a foot, but... He's kind of neat. He's kind of neat, really. Hmm. He's missing his foot. So we're not going to get him, but he is pretty neat. But he is not an antique. Is he vintage? Sure. Antique? No. Because he would have to be over 100 years old, and he's not. This booth, I'm seeing quite a few things. Like, I like this Iona bottle. It's $8.99, but I love bottles, but I love the graphics on it, and it's property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Every bottle is sterilized, so I'm going to set it there for now, but I am going to get that. But this, oh, that's new. This little plant sprinkler. Mm. Fun things here. That's different, isn't it? Wow. It's definitely different. Big K sandwich spread. I like that too. Alright, I did get this blue thermos. Um, I thought it was in great, I mean it's in really good shape. I like the color, I like the size, it was $9.99. I also picked up this, which I think was a lip gloss. It's a dollar, but these are really the pretty good size for a Rushton Coca-Cola Santa. So when I see things like this, I tend to buy it. Um, I got this little handkerchief vase. I like Again, I like the size of it, it's $8. I've got a little ghost for me, for my stash and collection that bottle and then this um onyx glass or black glass flower frog for three dollars and fifty cents i thought that was cool and this this little squirrel planter for 3.99 i don't know and then this which i think this is fabulous this 1950s coffee pot there's atomic design on it so that's what I got so far. Oh my gosh, who else remembers this Barbie camper? That's $24. Oh my gosh. I remember this. And this folds in like that. Oh wow. The Barbie camper. Raise your hand if you remember. Alright, this is a dollar. Okay. It is a mod hip hug belt kit with large eyelets and tool. It's in its original packaging. 
This is just fantastic. Oh my gosh, for a dollar, I'm definitely going to get that for sure. All right, here's a little hand-painted turkey, a little quilted turkey. She's really done really nice. She is $3.50, so I'm going to get her. She's signed by mm, Sheeters. I don't know. It's very uh, Kimple style, but I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'm gonna get this set of canister. Well, this is a cookie. The cookie jar is $5, so I'm gonna get that. Set of four of these canisters are $17.50, so I'm gonna get the canisters as well. They've got these great black tops. Sometimes on the inside, you can see who's made them, but I honestly don't care. I love the design, so I'm going to get that. Ooh, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna check at this one too. This is a fun cookie tin. For eleven fifty, so I think I might get that too. Well, what else is up here? Uh, I think that's it. But I'm gonna get this whole set. Well, Gary's booth is a dollar or less, so we like you, Gary. Oh, you're cute, little June angel for fifty cents. She's got one little broken petal, or oh, and she doesn't have any wings, so. Look at our little home co. Do we have any holidays? Do we have any holidays? No, we don't. I look for only, typically only buy the holiday home co bears. Oh, we've got some books. Oh, I like these shaped books. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. And we've got A Tale of Tales. This is a little golden book. How much are you, book? dollar. Oh, look at the little monkeys. Tail of tails. Whoops. Tail of tails. And we've got my first counting book. Your elected Charlie Brown. The sharing circle. Miniature schnauzers. Raw vegetables and juices. In pretty rough shape too. Well, come on, Gary. Gotta find something from Gary's booze. Right? Oh my goodness. That little angel boy. He's looking a little uh like he's been in uh the wacky tobacky. Well not even for a doll less than a dollar, Gary. You gotta give us something, Gary. What's over here? Oh, yuck. Oh, you're kind of cute. Girl of, with flowers for 50 cents. Look at her little painted toenails, but she's got chippies all over her head. This little applause deer is $8. It is, she still has her tag. She's in great clean condition great underneath a Christmas tree so we're gonna get her we're gonna get her you can go for a ride dear in our cart what else do we got we got Santa let's see if there's any vintage things tucked in like that looks like a little vintage sled that all those flowers are in I don't need another one oh here's a Maxwell house coffee can for three dollars I do not need to buy any more ornaments. I am not doing that. Now, some ornaments are very good to get because they can. Some of them can be worth quite a bit of money, but I'm just not. I don't have time to mess with it. Oh, here's a good booth. Booster. I don't know how we're supposed to get to the stuff. There's a big chalkware turkey for ten dollars. World's greatest grandfather. It's really hard to get through here, but we're going to see if we can see anything. We are going to see. There is a Smurf. I think it was a toothbrush. <laughs> yep, a little toothbrush head went in there. And you turn them on there.
Paradisina Minor. Bird glasses for $10. Move some of the stuff over. I can't get it. Oh no. I like to dig in booths like that, but when I'm filming, I just can't. I can't, because I can't. I'll end up knocking something over. See, because you can see, you can't get to. You have to move things out of the way. Oh, you're a pendlefin. You are a pendlefin. Bunny. Smoking a pipe. Very Hugh Hefner. I'm going to get you for $3. Pendlefin bunnies are made in England. Oh, you don't want to. Okay, there was something in here that I had seen. You. Oh, I thought you were a napkin ring holder, but you were just a candle. We're not going to get the candle. What was this? Talking toy. What do you say? Do you, is that all you do? We need to get him today. What's this little red? You're a Christmas frog candle. Do I want you for a dollar? That's just weird enough. That's right. Oh, you're a dollar fifty. Oh, hi, fella. You're dancing. I will put the bunny in the cart. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily get the Christmas frog candle. Ask him you're not dancing, Frank. You need to step it up. I would turn back if I were you. Well, this is, it's kind of a messy booth. Oh, you're De Grazia. I just found another one of these. So we're going to get you two. I think you're a little different than the one that I have. So we're going to get you. And we're going to keep looking. Because, oh, I remember this is Fisher Price. Yes. He's missing his belly, though. He had a little belly button, I think. But he's from the Fisher Price Zoo. He is. Hey, sir. How are you? I just like him, though. I like him. Okay, we'll just, he's going to hang back from that cup, though. Mm, troll. It's down here. Here we have fall and Halloween. Prices are reduced. I did notice this. Uh, it looked very Fitz and Floyd and I turned it over and it is. It's $2.50. I am going to get that. I like Fitz and Floyd things. These were kind of different too these trees so oh, it was upside down they're candle holders they look like trees from like a creepy forest they're three dollars but I think a cool like lucite candle would be cool I don't know I don't know what they're marked down to it just says that their prices are marked down but I don't really know as to what they're marked down. I do see these little bone china figures. These are $8 for the little bears. We've got camels and cows. Mm. I'm going to get the Fitz and, Flo Fitz and Floyd plate. What does this do? Parents would 
be very upset if they their child brought that home. Okie dokie. I think I had seen most of the things down there. It was a lot of newer new items. Got some toys. And some bag toys here. Oh, you're from um, Star Wars. Oh, you're unfortunately a Purdue clown. What's this? Somebody has, has somebody painted that? I think somebody has painted that. Unfortunately. Okay, right here in this booth here, I'm, I'm debating on getting this little pedestal. Kind of, I think it's a cigar ashtray or some sort of an ashtray because of the indentations here. But here, these are um, Ellie Smith Moon and Star uh, Taper Candle Stick holders for $6.99. So I am going to get those and just making sure there's no damage on them. Well, guys, that was Trader Baker's in Washington, Indiana. I always love going into vendor malls. It's one of my favorite places to go and source for things for myself or things for resale. And it's just a lot of different and interesting things to look at a lot of the time. So make sure that you do check out your local vendor mall and support all of those vendors that do set up shop in these malls. It's always important to shop local and support your local, uh, your local vendors. And everything that I bought, I showed you while I was shopping. So if you saw anything that you might be interested in, you can send me an email, thriftorjunk or vintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if it is still available. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl, I'm the sweetest one in town. You can search for miles around, and no one like me can be found.